Remember malls? With the ease of online shopping and growing offerings of basically anything at stores like Target and Walmart, the idea of going to a sprawling mall to buy an overpriced shirt just doesn't sound too appealing these days. That said, there are a few mall staples that have managed to survive the ongoing mall crash that's slowly been sliding over the past decade or so. These are places that focus on what online shopping can't give you, an experience. Well, actually, that's kind of a weird way to describe it. I guess anything could be considered a, an experience. I mean, falling down the stairs is an experience. Anyway, the point is, a certain number of mall stores have managed to not only survive, but actually thrive in the new marketplace because of their focus on customer experience and, in my humble, all-knowing opinion, nobody does that better than Nord. Nordstrom is weird. Also, I always grew up calling it Nordstrom's, so if at any point in this video I accidentally call it that, there's my reason. Anyway, it's a bit of a weird case because Nordstrom has a bit of an identity issue. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, when I say the name of a store, picture in your mind what that store is about. What's its vibe, who shops there, that sort of thing. Okay, ready? Bloomingdale's. Macy's. Sears. All right, class, let's review your answers. Right, so Bloomingdale's hopefully resonated with visions of mall opulence, the fanciest of your shopping center locations with chic clientele and pricey wares. Macy's probably brought to your mind the thought of mid-price clothing, some home accessories, and even a simple store layout. Sears, actually wait, is Sears still around? Okay, yeah, they're still kicking. So Sears serves a more affordable crowd, a more blue-collar vibe from the old days. And these are all well and good, but now think about Nordstrom. What goes on in your head? A bit, right? See, Nordstrom, at least to me, is sort of in this weird spot of not being in the top of the mall food chain with stores like Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, or Barney's, but it's also not in the mid-tier either with places like Macy's or Dillard's. It's fancy, sure, but it's also not snooty. Most Nordstrom stores have a minimalistic design, but nothing so simple as looking like a regular department store. It continues to exist in this weird point between top and mid-tier stores in the mall. So then, what makes Nordstrom special enough to get its own video? Well, it all goes back to the core of the store. And at that core, we find one concept. Nordstrom's customer experience is built on one single simple proposition, taking care of its customers. Now, the funny thing is, according to the American Consumer Satisfaction Index study, Nordstrom's not even the top retailer in terms of customer satisfaction. It sits among the top, but it's not the number one. But here's the thing. It's the only retail shop of its kind, the mall kind, to rank among the big boys. Why is that? Looking at the company as a whole, innovation seems to have helped, but the main idea all seems to go back to their customer experience and care. Nordstrom really is just that good with its clientele. In fact, companies like Amazon, Costco, and even Starbucks have all cited Nordstrom as their guideline for customer service as the baseline for their own operations. So that begs the question, what does Nordstrom actually do to make their customers happy? Well, let's take a look. The Nordstrom experience can be simplified into two pillars, the policies and the people. Now in the public eye, there's one tenet of Nordstrom's customer experience that a lot of people already know, and that's returns. Yep, something as simple as bringing in a shirt back because it didn't quite fit right is one of the biggest reasons for the continued success of the store. It's Nordstrom's policy to accept any item as a return, no questions asked, no matter how long it's been since the item was purchased. Now, that's not to say that Nordstrom is gonna let you pick up a $600 pair of Ferragamo loafers, have you wear them for one party, return them, and rinse and repeat for their entire shoe collection. If you abuse 
use their honor system of returns, you may run into a bit of an issue next time you try and pump and dump their stuff. That said, for the majority of shoppers, this system works perfectly fine. The aim of Nordstrom, again, is to take care of their customers. And if that means taking back a purse that's a few months old because it was rubbing the customer's shoulder raw, well, then by all means, they'll take it back or replace it. I mean, listen to this, for example. Up in Alaska, back in the 70s, uh, some guy rolled in a pair of tires into a Nordstrom store. He goes up to the cashier and he says he wants his money back for them. Here's the thing, though. Nordstrom has never, nor will they ever, sell tires at any of their stores. But still, this guy was given his money back in exchange for the tires. Now, this story has become a bit of an urban legend, and as such, people aren't really sure if it's true or not. But Eric and Blake Nordstrom, co-presidents for the company, both say that it's a true story. But what makes this story a bit less far-fetched is that Nordstrom had actually purchased three stores in Alaska from the Northern Commercial Company, which did sell tires. The Nordstrom brothers weren't sure how many tires were actually returned or what the amount was given for the refunds, but they commended the salespeople who actually accepted the tires and gave the customer a refund. Now, beyond just taking any old tire for returns, Nordstrom's other customer excellence comes in the form of its people in-store and remote. And just like with this return policy, Nordstrom stresses heavily on serving its customers quickly and pleasantly. In fact, for a long time, new employees were given a copy of Nordstrom's employee handbook, a single 5 by 8 inch gray card containing just one rule. You with this one rule in mind, Nordstrom employees were given autonomy. They're empowered to use that good judgment without fear of micromanaging or making a mistake. They're also driven to give the best dang customer experience around because Nordstrom aims to treat its team far better than anybody else in the retail market. And that care pays off in the actions of their employees. For example, Nordstrom employees are trained to answer a phone in no more than just two rings. Beyond that, a Nordstrom employee rarely Points. If you have a question about where something's located, they'll usually just walk you to your destination, asking any helpful questions along the way. They're also taught to walk your bagged purchases across the counter to you versus just handing it over the counter. Salespeople can also offer to ring up your purchase without you ever having to stand in line. That one particularly happens in the shoe department though. The only other place that comes to mind with this level of employee dedication would probably be something like the Disney theme parks and their cast members, but that is for another video. So overall, the people and the policies of Nordstrom definitely elevate it in the retail space, but there's one more spot where they've become the front runner. Innovation in location. Yeah, you can absolutely drive to a mall and shop for hours at a Nordstrom location, or you can simply go online, pick out the item that you want, and then either have it delivered or even just go into the store and pick it up where it will be waiting for you. It could even be brought out to your car. Nordstrom actually pioneered this buy online and pick up in store model and it seems like nearly every other retail space has copied Nordstrom yet again. I mean, think about how many places have adopted this curbside method of shopping. COVID definitely kicked this trend into high gear, but even well before that, retail locations across America saw a shift towards this hybrid model. But Nordstrom goes well beyond this with other service locations like Trunk Club, Hot Look, or even their brick and mortar experiences like Nordstrom Rack, their discounted retail option. They realize that not every shopper wants the same experience, so they aim to offer variety in their options. So let's go back to that exercise from the beginning of this video. Remember what you pictured when you thought about Bloomingdale's, Macy's, and Sears? Well, now think about Nordstrom again. It's probably not the interior of the physical store that you're thinking of now, but rather the people in that store who make the shopping experience exceptional. Nordstrom is a clear example of a company that puts CX first, and let me tell you, I should know. Because just like Nordstrom, the gang here at Support Ninja knows a thing or two about it as well. If you want to learn more about us at Support Ninja and the customer experiences that we provide, check out the link in the description of this video. Oh, and while you're down there, why not give this video a like and even consider subscribing for all of our latest updates. I'm Jack from Support Ninja. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.